designed to reduce friction and wearing, but it has some weak points too. Hello, welcome back. Again, a spectrum filament, uh, this time polycarbonate with some PTFE or Teflon inside. And uh, I bought this spool myself from the budget which I got from the Polymaker, who became a channel sponsor. These don't have any kind of effect to my measuring results, they are just sponsoring my research activity. This is not cheap filament. For me the price was 70 euros for 0.75 kg spool. And according to specifications on the website, it has good mechanical properties, which will reduce the wear and the friction. This means I will do some friction and wearing tests, uh, very similar to what I did in one of my previous videos with their PTG Teflon version. Improved thermal stability and printed parts can be machined to a perfectly smooth surface. And this is something I can do, but I'm not sure if I can measure something. I will try to compare it with a regular polycarbonate and very strong lamination of layers. And this is something I will test definitely. I hope it will perform better than the PTG Teflon version. Now again, according to the website, to reach those mechanical properties given in the specifications, it is recommended to dry the filament, which is okay, but also to store it in a dark, dry place, relative humidity below 15%. Let's see some recommended printing settings. The nozzle temperature between 265 and 295 degrees Celsius, and I will get back to these temperatures later. The bed temperature between 95 and 120 degrees Celsius. The speed max 80 millimeters per second. This is quite low speed and no need for harder nozzle. And it's recommended to using the heated chamber and bed adhesive is necessary. I couldn't really find how much Teflon this filament has inside. With the PTG version, it was clearly stated that it has 10% of the Teflon. Here, I couldn't find this information. And it is good to know that Teflon above 260 degrees Celsius starts to create some toxic fumes. Of course, the amount is very minimal, especially it has approximately 10% or something like that, but it's still there. In my case, I will use the Exxon Carbon and there the chamber fan is connected to the hole on my wall, so I don't have this kind of problems. But this is something you should keep in mind if you want to use this filament. Now let's see what's in the box. Nice vacuum packaging and slightly different print settings we have on this sticker. I think the bag is resealable, I will cut it here. There is a desiccant and this is quite rough surface, interesting. It will get some drying on 70 degrees Celsius few hours. The printing will be also from the filament dryer on Exxon Carbon. I'm using engineering plate with some glue on it and the doors will be closed. Let's see the settings in the slicer. Generic PC is the start profile, but I reduce the maximum flow to 12 and I increase the print temperature to 285 degrees Celsius. And also I reduce the cooling from 60 to 40 percent. Wow, look at this. The bed adhesion is very bad. Much worse than the regular PC. Hmm. Wow. Now they recommend on their website the Magigoo for the PC or polycarbonate, uh, but I don't have that adhesive, but this is very weak. Mm -hmm. I washed the plate and I placed a new thin layer of the glue. Second attempt. <laughs> this purge line doesn't look too healthy, but here I don't have a glue. It's not perfect, but more or less that first layer is correctly down. If it will have any warping, then it will come off. Maybe I should print this in smaller groups. On this object I can see quite big warping, so I'm ready to use a skipped object if necessary. And next time I will use the brim too. It passed the 4mm high, so this means I have several test objects finished. And there is another object I have to cancel. And finally it's printing the last vertically printed test object. Hmm, I can even see some material stick to the nozzle, which usually I can see only with PTG or nylon. Weird. The printing is finished. Quick bed adhesion check. Where it sticks, it sticks good, so this means this material have this warping. Oh. I think I will see a weak layer adhesion here. 
Those two lab test objects I decided to print on KD Plus 4, where the maximal bed temperature is 120 degrees Celsius, because in Europe on Exxon Carbon it is 110, and also here I have actively heated chamber up to 65 degrees Celsius. I hope this will be enough for this filament. The result is completely good. It's a great example how important are these high temperatures. Perfectly straight objects, absolutely no warping. And the finish. Test object for the wearing test and also I'm reprinting the one for the bending test because I noticed some warping on the version printed on Exxon Carbon. And these are completely straight. Here you can see them side by side, so the left one was printed on Exxon Carbon and the right one on the KD Plus 4. And the final object for the friction test. And finally everything is printed and it's time to ventilate the room because the kid is not connected to that ventilation hole. And again this machine impressed me. Anything I put into it, it just prints. Should I try peak? Anybody? Just quickly to check the shrinking and actually there is no shrinking. This one was printed on KD Plus 4 and it's very accurate. A quick wearing test with this smaller 3mm shaft. And with a load of 2.5 kilograms. Well, in this test it will perform quite good. There will be 200 repeats. And the wearing is very minimal so far. Hmm, some dust, I hope it is measurable at least. Zero point zero eight millimeters. Approximately PTG would have a half millimeter groove here. A quick sliding friction test on aluminum extrusion, and I will compare it with the PTG Teflon version. And the speed of the sliding is uh, two meters per minute, and the load will be two point five kilograms. I think analog scale would be better in this case, but analyzing the footage, I can see around zero point forty six is the average load. <laughs> For the filling, this friction will be bigger, but let's measure it. The pulling load was very constant, so the scale even locked on 0.5 kilograms. The difference is not big, but it is definitely measurable. But even this material performed very similarly like a regular PTG, so I don't really see the advantage in the friction for these materials. Test I test with horizontally printed test objects. This is very weird break cross section. But let's check the layer adhesion now. Layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. I'm not sure if it's visible on the screen too, but this is very nice uh, smooth cross section, but <laughs> it's weak. One more attempt. I increased the nozzle temperature by 10 degrees Celsius and I completely disabled the part cooling and I added this cylinder so the layer has more time to cool down. So 295 degrees Celsius on the nozzle and uh, zero part cooling and I hate this new user interface on Exxon Carbon. Well this printing is very close to the maximal possibilities of Exxon Carbon, maximal temperature on the bed and almost maximal on the nozzle, zero part cooling. And again I can see a lot of material stick to the nozzle. And the printing is finished almost correctly, but look at this weird material stick to the nozzle. The quality is still ok, but it starts to be too much for those overhangs. Let's repeat the layer adhesion with those improved settings. For comparison I decided to use their PTG Teflon version from earlier video. And we can see that this polycarbonate version is weaker, but this is not the weakest point of this material, but this. Look at this weaker layer adhesion, even if I raise the temperature, completely disable the fan, but this is still weak, here you can see my scale. Shear test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects. Printed horizontally, the strength is very similar to their PTG version, but printed vertically where the layer adhesion is very important, it's very weak. Twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects, and I'm starting with horizontal ones. Zero point seven is the peak. And a vertically printed zero point four. Unfortunately, in both cases, they fail quite early because of that weaker layer adhesion. 
in both cases noticeably weaker compared to their PTG version. 3 point bending test, this has written supports is 50 mm and these lots will be placed one by one and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is a deformation under 1.25 kg, under 2.5 under 5 and still that additional deformation is very minimal, 10 kg and here that uh, deformation during this 1 minute became significant. And this is its permanent deformation after this test. We can see more deformation on the polycarbonate version, especially under 10 kg where that deformation continuously grows. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer. Oh. And again that correlation between the impact test and weaker layer adhesion. Can I still break it on this stronger machine? And this is huge advantage of this polycarbonate, not only compared to their PTG version, but compared to any other material types, even ABS for example. Creep test the deformation under constant load. Oh, quite big deformation. 18.65 and I will measure it every day. This is day 5, let's measure it. 19.66 We can see more deformation on the polycarbonate version, but uh, compared to the PTG we can see less creeping, this means less additional deformation during the time. Temperature test in the oven, and again I'm working parallel with the two materials. The other is a PA12CF with much higher temperature resistance. But even this polycarbonate started to deform at approximately 134 degrees Celsius, which is quite good for this material type. And I had to take it out earlier because I had to continue experimenting with the other material. But at this point, it was already completely hard. All results one more time on one place. You can pause the video and compare these data with those which I did in earlier videos. And Patreon supporters have access to a summary table with the collected data from earlier videos. I am very thankful to all my supporters because I have that freedom now to buy any filament I want to test. I don't have to ask companies if they want to send me free samples or not. Conclusions for the end. Immediately I can see three advantages of this material. It is wear resistant, impact and temperature resistant material. But on the other side it is harder for printing. Of course I didn't use the Magico PC which they recommend officially, but even then the layer adhesion is quite weak and this is independent from this. And this will pull with it uh, many other properties. Imagine if we print a hook in a horizontal position, it will still be weaker compared to some other material because of that weaker adhesion between the walls too. I still have many other filaments from the spectrum like Kevlar Rainforest ASA, or nylon reinforced with glass spheres, not fibers, and I hope I will find some treasure between them because uh, so far I'm not too happy with these materials. And again, huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters because with their donations and together with the budget which I got from the Polymaker, I can buy any filament on the market I want to test. I don't have to wait for the company if they want to send me the filament or not. And just a reminder, I still earn approximately $10 per video from some reason my videos are not really recommended by YouTube algorithm. And if I would buy these filaments, I would be in a minus with the budget with every single video. But now I really enjoy this freedom and I hope you find these videos uh, useful too. And thank you for watching this one and happy printing!